They are now quoting, Mr. Barrow is quoting from the answer from Sir Ellie. He says, as to the concern shown by some Belizeans regarding the possibility of being asked to give up land, I do not believe that this is realistic. I stand by the legal opinion on the issue that I gave in 2002 and do not believe that Guatemala can possibly establish a valid claim to any part of the territory of Belize. Of course, the court is not always predictable and I could be wrong. But I cannot see how we can proceed by any other basis than the 2002 opinion is correct. Sir Ellie continued. As to the concerns expressed in Belize about the risk of losing in the court, it is impossible in referring to a, dis a dispute to the court to convey to the population of Belize an absolute promise that Belize will win. No, Mr. Barrow. After seeing Sir Ellis response to Senator Hulse's concern, Mr. Ghani wrote on 13 March 2009 that he thought that that view was overconfident of Belize's case and pointed to Sir Ellis' admission that there is always a risk of losing in court proceedings, remote as it may be in the present case. He then quotes Mr. Gandhi again, it would not be enough to tell Belizeans that Belize has an exceptionally strong case on the merits. Belizeans would want a cast iron guarantee that there would be no loss of Belizean territory in any circumstances. Sir Eli candidly admits that the court is not always predictable and I could be wrong. No informed Belizean would want to gamble Belize's future. The stakes are too high.